hello and welcome back and in this video we're going to understand how to install a web uh, a webstorm and the vs code okay you can choose either of your choice editor but i show you the installation of both now so to install um, a vs code just go to google and search for visual studio code and here you're going to get a, a direct uh, uh, download url for official website so make sure you check the official website that is code.visualstudio.com slash download so here you can find all the different versions so for mac linux and all so i have for windows so i can choose the 64-bit user insta installer the first one so it is downloading it for me so let me wait for the download okay so it's been downloaded and if you want to see that you can just right click open in folder so it you, you just go to the downloads folder you can find the vs code so to install this a uh, very simple step you can just double click and then click on run okay so here you just have to select uh, accept license and then click on next uh, it's going to install in a C drive, that's fine, and click on next. So, uh, it's going to add for start menu, that's fine, click on next. Yeah, so here few more options you have, create desktop icon. Okay, if you want, you can just select and then click on. Uh, and one more option you have, last one, add path, it requires shell restart okay that's fine you, you just click on next and then install so the editor will be installing for your system and only difference is uh, webstorm is paid one and which having a more uh, the better support for the code generation or course creation okay uh, but uh, visual studio code is not like that so you have to install a lot of packages over there a lot of plugins over there but uh, webstorm is inbuilt okay i'll show you the difference and then finish so you can just select launch and click on finish so this is gonna launch <coughs> this is gonna launch a vs code uh, if you're already aware of vs code so nothing to explain here so here you can find some source code this is my old uh, source code uh, i can see that okay this is i guess some view js okay fine so you have file uh, you can create a project and all okay we'll see that okay so we got vs code and uh, if you want to install a, a webstorm in your system so to install webstorm in your system you can just directly jump into the official website you can just type webstorm ide so you can just select the smartest javascript ide so here just you get webstorm and for 30 days you can use it for free you can just click on download for windows mac linux so you can just select the windows and click on download so the webstorm version is getting downloaded for your system uh, it's a quite large software so you have to wait for the complete installation and i mean the download and installation so it is getting downloaded now so let's wait for it okay so i got downloaded my webstorm so let me right click show in folder so you can see that in the downloads folder and this is the one so you to install this you can just simply double click on that uh, it's a quite large process for installation let's see uh, you get this uh, wizard for install just click on run and uh, sometimes it may ask for your permission okay just click on yes uh, yeah this is the first installation wizard okay here you just click on next and it's going to install webstorm in c program files for my windows you can just click on next and there are few installation options uh, there are few installation options here uh, first one so create desktop shortcut i just on my magnifier to understand a better way yeah so this is the installation options 
uh, here you can select 64 bit because as per windows i have 64 bit launcher so i need a 64 bit and update context menu yes you can check and then create associations yes you need to select each of them and then uh, you don't need this one because you are not selected the 32 bit then you don't need this one and update uh, it's not required because it's going to restart my system so i don't need this anyway without that also your web stream works perfect okay so these selections you do and then click on next yeah it's going to install jetbrains uh, just click on uh, install okay so this software is actually made in uh, java programming language so you can find most of the jars here okay so this will take again few minutes okay so once you are done with that setup so you can just select the run web storm and click on finish okay so let me stop my magnifier so this is gonna open a web storm for you and here you have two options uh, if you purchase the license you can just activate your license here with your JetBrains account so as of now I just select for evaluate for free okay and then click on evaluate so it works for 30 days from the day you install the software just click on evaluate and then click on continue okay it was indexing my existing project I think you have to wait for it okay so this is how webstorm looks like okay and uh, yeah so once you first time you install uh, webstorm you need to update few things okay uh, because you never see uh, you may see the source code is like very uh, narrow okay and a very small font size so you want to increase the font size uh, you have uh, an option called file in that you have to select settings so in that you need to select the editor editor uh, general and then font so here you must select some bigger number it was like 15 uh, in the starting i just selected 23 and also the font uh, which was something else i guess i just select the console also. so this is the decent font for developing of any uh, source code okay so that's fine and moreover you have another option that is if you click on general in that if you click on this general uh, you can find the first option so change font size with mouse uh, control mouse wheel okay so please select this so that you can increase or decrease the font size with your just mouse wheel okay can press the control button and move the mouse wheel uh, to increase or decrease okay and then after that just click on apply and okay so why we have select that option for zoom is see i click i press the mouse button i can zoom it i can reduce it so however i want i can use it okay that's one thing and one more thing is see you see the folders so the folders are just like uh, regular folder names okay so if you want to have a nice icons okay if you want to have a nice icons for each uh, files or folders so there is some icon plugin you have just go to settings uh, search for plugins so you get the plugins so in that you can search for something called uh, atom material icons yes this one okay select the atom material icon not material theme ui material icon just icons okay and just click on uh, install okay just click on accept so once you install this so you can nicely see all the uh, folders with uh, you know some decent icons okay and then click on okay yeah it's done so now you check see you can see the colorful icons over here so server public mode module assets router module like everything is nice colorful icons okay that's two settings you have to do in webstorm okay so that's it we are now install all the required software for angular development 
okay in the next video let's start with how to create a first application of angular thank you so much and let's meet in the next video